Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Chaos Actual and Frugal Prepping. This is recipe number four. It's gonna be the breakfast of day two. And you don't have to do this. It's just kind of how I organize it in my mind. So what we're gonna do today, or this recipe, it's gonna be my biscuits and gravy. Um, I will say that I usually add, uh, I do four scrambled eggs on the side and then add it to the biscuits and gravy. It actually adds a really cool kind of depth and flavor to the biscuits and gravy. But this is how I make my biscuits and gravy. Um, but you can do it however you want, but this is just how I do it. Um, the recipe that I have written down is basically the basic, basic, basic biscuit, sausage, milk, and flour. Now, usually what I'll do is while I'm, I'm cooking the sausage, I'll add a half an onion, so what, 30 cents, uh, and I'll add four eggs, so you're talking what, a quarter? So I'm only increasing the recipe by a quarter. So as of right now, November 2020, the nearest sale I found, one pack of buttermilk biscuits was $1.79. Sausage, one pound is $3.50 on sale. Milk, two cups, around 50 cents. Flour, quarter cup, 18 cents. And then if I add the onion and the, and the eggs, um, what up another 50 cents. So biscuits and gravy, big hearty recipe, more than enough for four, four people. Because this is going off of, basically, um, you're gonna have two biscuits per person, leaving you an, an extra couple of biscuits. I think it's like 10 or 10 biscuits or something. Um, in each pack or whatever, but that's a biscuit or two, whoever is hungry or is not, whatever. So, I, well, I always forget this step. I always forget to cook the biscuits first. And so, I start out cooking the biscuits and then I'll get the sausage already ready, ready to go um, out thawed and I'll get the pan nice and hot and then I'll throw the sausage and then I'll throw the onions on top of that because by this point you've already diced the onions, right? So like I said, this is my recipe, it's a little, little different. Then I'm going to do, I've talked about it before, is a, like a Montreal, my Montreal steak style of sausage. It's going to be red pepper flakes, black pepper, uh, I'm going to have some roasted cumin seed I'm going to grind up, and I'll do some rub sage on there, and then a little bit of salt. And then I'll throw that on top, and then as the sausage is cooking underneath, we're, we're browning the sausage. We're not making it gray, we're making it brown, because you need that color for the flavor. So then I'll fold it in on itself, fold it over, and I'll start chopping it up. Right? And then I get all of the seasonings and flavors in there all mixed together at the same time. Um, at the same, I've got my four eggs already waiting in a separate uh, dish. I've already scrambled them and I've got cubes of butter put in there. Because as it's cooking, that butter slowly melts and that gives you a creamier scrambled egg. Um, it's not as creamy as if you use like uh, heavy whipping cream or something like that. But then I'll put, you know, I'll do like uh, two tablespoons of butter in, in one of my cast iron skillets. And then when the gravy's a sausage is about done, that's when I'll mix, I'll start the eggs. And I'll start pulling back, pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. Then I'll go get uh, two cups of milk, and I'll have it in a separate container. And then I'll slowly pour that in to the sausage as it starts building up. And then, that's, yeah, because you want to, what I'm doing is I'm cooking all of the gravy in one pan, because I want all that flavor from all of those ingredients with the sausage. Because if I just, if I just cook the sausage in that pan and then pull it out and say, okay, I'm done with it, and wash, I'm washing all, not only the sausage flavor, but all those seasonings that we just put in there, right? So I'll put the, the milk in that, I'll, I'll save some milk aside, like a quarter cup, to make our gravy with. And so I want that milk, and you're gonna stir it a couple of times too as well, and not have it on high heat, like a low heat and start by medium to low heat because you want it to start uh, boiling slowly because you don't want to burn the milk on the bottom. But I want to keep, I'll, I'll take like a wooden spatula or something, I'll kind of go around the, the bottom of the, of the skillet because I want to bring all that flavor off the bottom of the skillet. I probably have had, at this point, I've had to deglaze it once and I'll use like a red wine vinegar or something else to deglaze it, a beef stock or something like that, chicken stock, whatever you want to use and just deglaze what's sticking, if it is sticking at all. Um, but like I said, I want all that, all, all that flavor, I want to stay right there in the pan while I'm making this gravy. So then I'll have my quarter cup of flour, mix it up with just enough milk to make it like a little gravy sludge, and then I'll pour that in slowly once, it's, once the milk's boiling. Now I've got my scrambled eggs done, now my gravy's done. Biscuits are done, pop it open, uh, pop your biscuits open on your plate. Now I like to spread them open. Uh, some people can do whatever they want. I just like to pull the biscuit open because then I've got more area for my sausage gravy because, <laughs> you know, I'm fat kid, I love that stuff. So, you know, my, my biscuits and gravy recipe is a little different. If that's, uh, if you don't want to do it, you can always do this and just heat it up, add a couple of extra seasonings, pepper, black pepper works really good on this. Um, but yeah, we're at $1.50 per person basically for breakfast. Big hearty breakfast. It's, it's got more carbohydrates than I'd like, but it's a killer way to do uh, biscuits and gravy. And I personally, I recommend a lot of black pepper on that recipe because the black pepper goes really well with that country gravy. Um, so yeah, biscuits and gravy done.
Please share the video, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.